Stop ruining your resume by converting it back and forth. Let's edit your resume directly free fast and without any watermarks. I'll show you three ways to edit a PDF on desktop, mobile, and even for scanned copies. Let's begin with the desktop app for Windows and Mac. First, let's see how it works on Windows. Search PDF Gear in your browser. Download and install PDF Gear on your Windows. This is the desktop version of PDF Gear for Windows. Now open PDF Gear and let me show you how to edit your resume directly. Here, we can spot a typo in the PDF. Click the Edit Text button under the Edit tab. Now you can freely modify the text within the PDF. You can also change the font type, size, or color. To adjust the font, please select the text first and choose your preferred style. You can also add new text to the PDF. PDF Gear automatically recognizes and matches the existing text style. Remember to save your changes before exiting the editing mode. And that's how you edit your resume on Windows. No ads, no watermarks, no in-app purchases, even when saving. Now, let's look at how it works on Mac. Apple users can download PDF Gear from the App Store directly. On Mac, the process is almost identical. Open your resume. Go to the Edit tab. Click the Edit Text and Image feature. You can now freely edit the text in. Or add new text to the PDF. To change the font style, please select the text first. Then choose the desired font size or color. Here, you can customize the text appearance. And like Windows, PDF Gear for Mac allows editing images in editing mode. Select the image in the PDF. Then you can replace or modify it directly. Click the Exit Editing button to save or discard the changes. That's it whether you're on Windows or Mac. PDF Gear makes editing a resume PDF simple and free. Next, let's move on to mobile devices. iPad and iPhone users can also get PDF Gear from the App Store. Open your resume with PDF Gear and tap the Edit button. Then go to the Edit Text tab. Now you can tap to edit the text. PDF Gear for iOS also lets you adjust the font style like this. For example, you can customize the text color. Tap to select text, and you can adjust its size and color as you like. When adding text, PDF Gear automatically matches the existing style for a consistent look. Tap here to exit the editing mode and save the changes. That's how to edit your resume on an iPad. It works the same way on iPhone. So iPhone users can also use PDF Gear to edit PDF text for free. You can fix typos, update contact details, or polish descriptions right from your phone. On Android, the steps are just as simple. Android users can get PDF Gear from the Google Play. Search for PDF Gear in Google Play. This is the PDF Gear app for Android. Download and install it on your Android device. Import and open your resume. Tap the Edit button to enter editing mode. Double tap any text area to start editing. Then you can modify the text or adjust the font style as needed. That's how to edit text in a PDF in editing mode. To edit images, select the image option. Tap on an image to rotate, copy, delete, crop, or change its layer order. That's how to edit text and images on your phone for free. When finished, tap done to save your changes and exit editing mode. But what if your resume is a scanned or image-based PDF? 
text in a scanned or image-based PDF can't be edited directly. But you can convert it to Word for easy editing. Go to the Tools tab and click the PDF to Word feature. Select the output path and check the advanced mode if needed. If your PDF contains image-based text but not very complex, enable OCR and turn off advanced mode. Here is the converted Word file. The text layout is well preserved after conversion. Now you can edit your resume in Word. This is how to edit your converted resume in Word. Save it back as a PDF to share or keep a polished version. Let's compare the files before and after editing. And that's how you can easily edit your resume in PDF for free. Follow our channel and find more PDF tips. Download PDF gear and give it a try. See you in the next video.